I did have an abortion a few years ago. We will hear argument this morning in case 19-1392, Dobbs versus Jackson Women's Health Organization. Where I live, there is only one Planned Parenthood, and they're usually booked out pretty far because that is the only option for reproductive rights. If Roe's overturned, there won't be abortion in Mississippi and 11 other states within the next 24 hours due to trigger laws that are already in place. Women who are unable to travel hundreds of miles to gain access to legal abortion will be required to continue with their pregnancies and give birth with profound effects on their bodies, their health, and the course of their lives. People in Mississippi who are able to get themselves to other states, people who are more wealthy, um, people who have more resources, are going to be able to continue to have reproductive health care. And so generally the people who are impacted the most are people who are poor, people who are people of color, people who are um, transgender, people who are maybe um, don't speak English as their first language. Health care should not be determined by where you live. It shouldn't be determined by who you are. Taking away that access is putting a lot of people in danger. They're going to be back alley. They're going to be people drinking bleach. They're going to be just like they were prior to Roe v. Wade. Nothing's going to change. Just people are going to die. Nearly half of the states already have or are expected to enact bans on abortion at all stages of pregnancy, many without exceptions for rape or incest. You don't deserve to have babies. You just raise them up to be a bunch of liberal left-wing nuts like you. Abortion is murder. They don't want people to have sex. For the longest time, I was ashamed until I realized how many women actually do have abortions, and that's when I decided to tell my story. Yeah.